are you as a reasonable individual satisfied that the electricity provider is getting a reasonable rate of return and the customers aren't being gouged? Well, that really is the role of the PUC. Um, when we set, for example, OPEX, we set a target. Um, if BL spends more than that, it's their loss. If they spend less, they're increasing, they're improving their efficiency, it goes to their bottom line. At a subsequent, at a subsequent review proceeding, then that benefit would eventually be shared with customers. Um, the methodology we use tries to provide incentives for the company to perform a certain way. Um, as I mentioned at our last press conference, um, because of the need to have expanded to provide access to the rural areas and, and that sort of thing, the rate setting methodology emphasizes investments. And so the biggest reward for BL is to make the investments in order to expand its system. Um, however, what has been happening recently is because of all the, the climate change concerns and that sort of thing, there's a big push around globally, and particularly in the Caribbean, because we would be very vulnerable um, to strengthen our systems. So you'll find that places like BL will have increased their, their construction standards, and that does, in fact, increase costs. But there are benefits to it if we start to get stronger storms and that sort of thing, then we'll have a more robust system um, that will stand up to such storms and we can get back services more quickly. Um, however, like I, I, I had mentioned there that um, these things, although they, they provide some tangible benefit, provided that things turn out the way we're forecasting they will, um, they don't necessarily increase sales. And so things like that actually end up increasing the cost of, of energy or of electricity to customers. And so we have to find a way to strike a proper balance between the two.